right, so he talked about that vibe, vibe check. check. Let's get a vibe check with Andrea Albers, who is live at Three Lions British Pub in Shorewood. Andrea, how is the vibe there? Hey, the vibe is better because I think you can hear me now. Apologies for our mic issue earlier, but we got that fixed and the bar is filling up here. In fact, we're running out of seats at the bar over in London. Right now it's about lunchtime and fans who've shown up here early. It's not lunchtime yet, but they are hungry, very hungry. So we're going to show you exactly what goes into an authentic English breakfast because people can come down here to the Three Lions Pub and get a taste of the UK. So I've got Luca Musker here with us. He is the owner of the pub to explain an English breakfast. breakfast. So I see mushrooms. I see baked beans. I yeah. see sausage. Tell us what goes into an authentic English English breakfast. Uh, so kind of, as you can see, um, eggs, we serve it any style you want, um, white pudding, which I guess is a, it's normally black pudding, but people are a bit weirded out by the blood in the sausage, so we serve the white pudding. The white pudding, okay. Uh, sorted button mushrooms, grilled tomato, English rasher bacon, which is like a different cut of the pork I was going to say that we have bacon, but it looks different than yeah, what so we I'll, think of when we think of bacon Amer here. American bacon, I guess, is probably the thinly sliced pork belly, whereas the English rasher is like thinly sliced cured pork loin, so it's kind of a different shape. Um, but then we have the bangu, which is just a sausage. Sure. Uh, we make these in house ourselves, so you get one of those at, looking at the size of it. And then the uh, baked beans. And like I say, this is just kind of a traditional thing. I mean, it's a plate full of protein and it kind delicious. of delicious. Yeah, I mean, it smells, tastes, and yeah, it looks delicious. Oh, hearty, a hearty breakfast, a great breakfast. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. this is also referred to as a fry up, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So where, so where does the name come from? I mean, I guess it's just different, uh, like different parts of the country called different, the same thing, different things. So I guess it's just kind of one part of the country okay. that do, but it's kind of picked up by others. Now, what kind of drink pairs best with an English breakfast? A pint, of a course, pint. yeah. Of course. <laughs> Did I even have to ask? Okay. Well, um, but we've got uh, English breakfast tea and coffee yeah, for yeah, risers yeah, too. Yeah, for those who aren't ready for our called just yet we do have English tea so yeah. yeah and we're expecting a big crowd people are already grabbing seats yeah. at the bar and earlier we kind of told you um, they've split up the bar here so this side is going to be dedicated to the Packer Packer game. Game. Yeah, yeah. Packers fans we haven't seen any giant stands yet yeah. and the other side will be dedicated to the soccer matches because those are yeah. still going on this morning indeed yeah we've got to stick to what we do <laughs> yeah absolutely Luca thank you so much no for problem. chatting thank with you. us here this morning okay guys we're now reporting live in Shorewood at Three Lions Club Andrea Elvis, Tim Dick for News.